Camelina is, is one way, I think, that uh, as we move into the future, farm families can really take advantage and be a part of a positive solution for, for the environment. We're gonna plant some winter Camelina, and it's a new crop being developed by the Forever Green Initiative at the University of Minnesota. Uh, one of a suite of crops that they've been uh, working on for the past several years. So we're working on a pilot project with a local farmer here in uh, Nicollet County. We're gonna plant 15 acres of, of Camelina. We're following a rye crop that will then be uh, relay cropped with soybeans uh, the following spring. The field itself is going to be no-tilled with a John Deere air drill. There was a uh, burned down herbicide that was sprayed a couple of days ago to burn down any uh, weeds left over after harvest and also to kill off the volunteer rye that comes back after a rye crop is harvested. So kind of a couple of steps there, but no tillage has been done on this field uh, this year. We're going to try to place the seed approximately a half inch or so in the, in the soil. There should be good, pretty good soil moisture today uh, based on a couple of recent timely rains, even though it's uh, been fairly dry, uh, well I should say extremely dry <laughs> for the rest of the summer. Well, there were a number of challenges, shall we say, regarding uh, just sourcing seed and, you know, it's, it's a pilot project and a brand new crop. so. Uh, really developing the supply chains for both the seed, um, uh, working with growers to uh, persuade them of the benefits of the crop, and then finally actually getting the seed there. As we start a brand new crop, there's just always some speed bumps and little potholes along the way. So we've had a few of those in, in the past week, but I think we're, we're overcoming those now and, and we're gonna get the seed in the ground. Camelina is an oil seed, so it can be used in, in food and will likely be used in, in oils uh, that will be on grocery store shelves at some point in the future. Uh, it also uh, has pot potential as a biofuel and for jet fuel, and I know there's a number of uh, companies that are interested in developing it towards that, uh, that end use. However, this is a long-term project. Um, it, uh, has the potential to be a major crop over the next several years. It won't be next year, likely, but, but it should be coming online soon. Whenever there's a, a new cropping system that comes online, um, it helps to have a, sort of a cluster, a group of farmers kind of doing a similar or the same thing all in one place. It helps develop those supply chains, storage, um, all the different processes that that are in place. So what we'd like to do is we'd like farmers to actually band together as a group and create an association with one another uh, to help accelerate these crops and speed them online. We've had a number of discussions with farmers in the area and there's, there's definitely interest in finding another crop to add to their portfolios. And so I think really winter camelina, especially in a relay system with soybeans, has a tremendous potential in this area. We grow a lot of uh, great corn and soybeans right here uh, in Nicollet County. And farmers, farmers really are interested in developing the supply so that we can meet the future demand. Um, so we need to do a lot of work uh, still communicating that to, to growers as well as to the end use customers. Agriculture is, is a social endeavor. Uh, just as much as it, as it really is a technical endeavor. And uh, sometimes a lot of learning happens, you know, peer to peer, neighbor to neighbor, of course, uh, through the university and uh, through different companies, you know, promoting their products. But all of those pieces uh, take time. And so I think we're, we're moving down that road for sure. Farmers want to do the right thing for their soils, for their communities, and for uh, the economic benefit of their, of their farms. And Camelina is, is one way, I think, that uh, as we move into the future, farm families can really take advantage and be a part of a positive solution for, for the environment.